you're just using Google Keep for basic note taking, you've barely scratched the surface of what this app can do. So let's go over 11 lesser known tips you can use today to further streamline your workflow. Starting with number one, build a habit of pressing Command or Control T to open up a new tab, typing in note.new or keep.new, Enter, and this allows us to capture an idea or note with minimal interruption. Pro tip, I keep eh, a set amount of pin tabs open in my browser at all times. And I know that Google Keep is one, two, three, four, fourth from the left. So I press Command or Control four to jump to keep directly, press C to compose, and I can start taking notes. But before we get too ahead of ourselves, let's head on over to settings and make sure we disable display rich link previews. Uh, since this will keep, I can do this all day, um, our Google Keep interface neat and tidy. And you'll see an example of this later on. Next, the reminder default times here, funnily enough, affect your Gmail account. So you know how within Gmail, you can press B to bring up this news menu. The default times here are based on what you see in Google Keep. Don't ask me why. So you can update this to let's say 8 p.m. and click save refresh Google Keep, refresh Gmail, and the snooze times will update. Next up, Chrome users can click the three dots here, settings, head on into the search engine tab, click to expand, scroll down and click add. Name this Google Keep, shortcut, just type keep, and paste this URL string, which I will share with you in the description below and click Add. Now, no matter what web page we're on, we can press Command and Control L to jump to the address bar, type keep, tab, and search for a keyword, let's say Wi Fi, enter, and there we go. Uh, super efficient. Moving on, let's talk about text formatting. We can use numbered lists, one, two, three. We can add an asterisk, space, and this turns into a bullet point. And of course, we can use hyphens as well. But that's about it. And in a few minutes, you'll see why this is a feature and not a bug. That being said, I like to include double equal signs like this in my headers. It's just a very low effort way for me to differentiate between the header section from the body text. Now let's go through a real world example. After a meeting where we capture notes within Keep, we need to send out a recap email. From within Gmail, we can just bring up Keep from the sidebar to reference our notes without switching between tabs or windows. Once we're done, I can click three dots, archive. Pro tip, previously I would use the pin feature to pin reference notes up top here for convenience. But over the last few years, I found a much better system. Put simply, I see my Google Keep homepage as an inbox for my notes. So if I see notes here, I know they need to be processed. And during one of my review sessions, after processing them, I would highlight the notes, press E to archive so that my homepage goes back to being empty. And instead of the pin feature, I created a reference label to tag that information. If you want to dive deeper into my productivity system for work, check out the Workspace Academy. I go through my entire capture, organize, and labeling system for Google Keep, how to clean up a messy account without losing past information, and most importantly, how to best integrate Keep into other Google Workspace tools. Moving on, we have an extremely underrated tip very few people are using. So let's say I'm preparing for this meeting right here. I have a couple ideas I want to bring up, but I don't want to add my unstructured thoughts into the calendar description. And I also don't want to forget what I want to say, right? So I can actually, with the meeting selected, uh, bring up Google Keep in the side panel, click take a note, and you see now that this note is connected to this calendar invitation. This means when I'm reviewing unprocessed notes in my Google Keep inbox, I can easily make that connection. Okay, this one is for the brainstorming session, right? And this one is my feedback for the dashboard, cool. And after those meetings are over, select E archive. The Google Keep extension is one of my favorite extensions by far. Not only can I save any web page with a single click, but I can also quickly add a note to remind myself to take action later. Pro tip, my Academy students already know this, but I strongly recommend everyone create a clipped label within Google Keep. This way I know every single link I've saved via the Google Keep extension can be found in the centralized location. And remember the display rich link preview option from before. So if we go back to settings here, uh, you can see that if I enable it and click save, you'll see how all the notes with a link 
take up more screen real estate. Um, and that's why I like to keep it off to keep things neat and tidy. Next, some of you might already be color coding your notes. Blue for reference, red for high priority tasks, and green for personal notes. But you might not know, we can actually filter notes by color using specific links. For example, when I paste this link in the address bar, you will see that it ends with the word blue. So only blue colored notes appear. And by saving this as a bookmark, I can quickly filter for notes by any color. I'll leave all the different color links down in the description below. By the way, if you're enjoying these practical no BS tips, you might want to join my newsletter to receive an insanely actionable Google Workspace tip every week. I'll leave a link down below. If you use checklists in Google Keep, here are some tips to keep in mind. After using the keyboard shortcut L to create a new checklist, we can use command or control right bracket to indent and command or control left bracket to unindent. Checking off a parent checkbox will complete all child checkboxes as well. And for recurring checklists like weekly reviews, we can always click the three dots, uncheck all items to reset the checklist. Moving on to a super practical tip for the Google Keep mobile app. After a meeting, I love having the ability to snap a photo of any handwritten notes, clicking into the photo, three dots, grab image text, and I can now copy and paste all this as needed. Back in the day when business cards were still a thing, I know I look young, I'm pretty old, I'm just Asian. Um, I would use Google Keep to take photos of business cards. And even if I don't add any text and archive them right away, I would still be able to search for the company and person via the search bar thanks to optical recognition. Pro tip, since we don't use business cards anymore, I find myself taking screenshots of email signatures in order to save that contact information. I can add that screenshot into Google Keep, archive it to keep the homepage clean, but still be able to search for it easily. Staying within the mobile app, tip number 11 is after we create a new note, we can actually just press the plus icon here to start a new audio recording. The newly created note will have both the audio file as an embed and a transcript of that audio as accompanying text. This can be super useful if you're trying to quickly capture a thought for later use. Ending on a bonus tip. If you do not like having Keep as a pinned tab, you can go to uh, three dots here, cast, save, and share. And here you, sh you should see an option to install Keep as an app. After you go through the installation process, you can now bring up Google Keep as a standalone application. If you found this helpful, you might want to check out my Google Workspace playlist. See you on the next video. In the meantime, have a great one.